In this video, I'm going to talk about how to factor when you have like an X and a Y in your trinomial. So this is actually just kind of a, a trick, I guess. So this is a pretty quick video. So first of all, let's think about how would I factor something like X squared plus 5X plus 6? Well, to factor that, that would be X plus 2 times X plus 3. And you can do that by using trial and error method. and so now what happens if I just add an extra Y in like this? Well, it's really still the same thing. The only thing that really changes is that now we need to make sure that instead of just getting six, we get six Y squared. So it's going to be the same factoring, still X plus two, but now it's X plus two Y and X plus three Y. So don't let that Y throw you off. You can still kind of use all the same tricks of what do you multiply to get to this that would add to this. Just now you have to add kind of two Y's onto the end. So I just have a couple of examples of this in case you want a little more practice. So like in this example here, so all I really want to think about are what two things would multiply to negative 12 but add to one. So that would be four and three, except I just want to tack a Y on, so part, sorry, four and negative three. So I just want to tack a Y onto those and then that'll, that'll ensure that I get the right middle term and then this negative 12 Y squared. So that's really it. So if I want to look at two more of these, for this example, so I've got X minus two X Y plus Y squared. Well, so now it's what do I multiply that would get me to one, but add to negative two. So that would just be minus one and minus one. But now instead of it being minus one, it'll be minus y and minus y. You see? And so then that'll get me this negative two xy because of just how everything kind of multiplies together and bounces off of itself. Now for this last one, so notice that I've got three x squared plus 21 xy plus 18 y squared. So the first thing I notice here is that we have a GCF of three. So I can go ahead and factor that out as shown. And then I can finish factoring. So this will factor as X plus six Y and X plus Y. And so that would be it. So, you know, it's just really, you're just adding on a Y when you factor it in and then the rest of it will sort itself out. So hopefully that was helpful. You got any questions, you can always leave me a comment. Um, I'm more than happy to always make more videos or if you have more questions or whatever, just let me know. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time.